Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today you're looking at the Extreme Sets. That's right, this little background right here is just a backdrop made out of cardboard. It's pretty ingenious if you think about it because the images on it are really, really nice. And the thing is, the way that they've done it is they don't reflect that much unless you get super close to the light. And it looks pretty good overall. And I think that it's very versatile. So what I wanted to do is talk to you today about the extreme sets and show how it goes. Now check this out, this is my workspace. All right, so what I've done is I've backed up the camera a little bit to show you my workspace. Now I don't use a traditional desk like some people, so I use the top of one of these um, box tiered shelves and I only have maybe like 18 inches or so to work with. So you can see that the, my extreme set sticks off the side and what I've done is I've just kind of placed them up in the back and kind of reconfigured them. The cool thing about this set, and let me just move these figures out of the way, is everything is reconfigurable um, in a way, right? Like, so this brick wall right here, boom, it's gone. No more brick wall. And the thing is, it's really cool because it's just a folded piece of cardboard and on this side it has some like artwork. So the thing is, it's typically supposed to be like that, but because I wanted the stairs in that fashion, I put it like that and you got like an unpainted wall. Now the cool thing about these steps is it's basically just like a folded out piece of cardboard and then you got these like folded pieces of cardboard that you just stick down to make the steps. And then of course this bottom step has a piece that like tucks in. So you got like some steps and you can put it in any configuration you want. And then you just throw in the side piece to cover up the step and you got that stairway right there. And if I pushed it all the way over, it would actually be pretty cool. Now, the other thing about this set that I wanted to show you, let me get rid of these stairs, is the background pieces. Now they are interchangeable and you can see that I'm just picking this up. Now they do connect together with these little pieces and they will sit and make like a box. Kind of like it will make the form of um, a rectangular box like that. But the reason why I wanted to show you that door is because it came also with this other little stairway with these little concrete looking boxes that would go on the side. And man, it makes like a really cool entrance way into that little doorway. And the cool thing about it is this door opens. So like if you put something dark or some lights or something behind that door, you can have it open. You can have somebody coming through it. You can do all kinds of stuff. And for photography, you know, when you have stuff that's like not necessarily in focus, you can do a lot for like shifting stuff around. Now, the cool thing is everything is modular. So what you got is you got a bunch of pieces that can be configured in any way you want. Right? And then there's this piece here that's like gated and it looks really, really cool if you think about it. And it makes for some awesome photographies. Now it did come with some more pieces. So it did have this one piece here too, which has the two opening double doors. Now I haven't like pulled them aside because I kind of wanted to leave them sort of in place. But the thing is when you're building it, there's also a base for the whole thing. So you can see you have some ground that unfolds and you can have like a little water drain. You have like the manhole cover and you can see how this will sit out. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that is the bottom sitting out on like a little sofa couch, and you can see it's really big. And for my space, I don't think I would be able to really use that piece unless I was setting it up outside or on the dining room table for just some photography. It's perfect but for me, and you can see it comes with really simple instructions on how to put everything together. But the thing is, let me just throw together like a quick little setup. So I might stick, Okay, so this one right here has this doorway and I'll just stick this off to the side. It'll tuck in nicely there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put this nice painted one right there and I'll stick that kind of towards the back so it sits more upright. This one right here and just stick it right in here like that. And you can see I just put them close together. Ooh, I could like throw this one right here, this little pillar. Well, let's just put it this way. So there's the little pillar. And then I've got some like little diorama pieces that I can stick around and maybe we can make like, um, 
it's going to be some sort of like a back corner deal. We got our Viper set up. You can see I'm already starting to like get something set up here. And then, of course, what we want to do is we want to get our Profit Destro with our head swap. See how like having like a background like this can really make a difference when you're doing some filming or if you're doing some photography. And I think it looks pretty good. So let's just take a closer look. You could see like the bricks and stuff in there and then that adds some 3D effect right there. But it's really cool because they got these really nice painted signs. There's that little effect right there. And you could see it just painted, but it has a really, really good effect to it. And then when you add extra stuff in there, it looks really cool. So anyways, this is the Extreme Sets Diorama. It's the first one that I got and I think I'm kind of liking it. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments and enjoy a few action figure photos on your way out. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Really appreciate it. Have a fantastic day.